Hey guys, this is Sardam Masta from Cube Lelo and today we have the Qi Smart Timer. We're gonna do a quick unboxing for this and a first impressions video. So let's get started. So the timer comes in a quirky box with zeros and ones written on it. So let's just unbox this, take it out of its box. So we have the timer over here and yeah. uh, instructions for setting up the timer. We'll look at that later and some screws. And I think these are for uh, holding the timer together with the mat. Yeah, nothing else. So here we have the timer. Take this out gently. And here we have a stand for putting our phone down. So this, this timer is uh, basically made for a phone. So uh, you can just easily put down your phone over here like this. No, no, like this. Yeah, and you can use the timer after connecting it to the Bluetooth. Okay, so let's open this massive pamphlet that we got. Uh, well, these are instructions for connecting the timer and everything, connecting with the app and how to use the timer. You might want to read this before uh, you start using the timer. Well, actually I'm confused if we do get a battery along with it. So yeah, we do get two AAA batteries. Yeah, and yeah, it was kind of written on the box over here about the two AAA batteries, but I don't know how to read Chinese, so I wasn't sure. So yeah, let's go ahead with the first impressions. So now that we're done with the unboxing, let's actually test this timer and I'll tell you how to connect it to the app and also the different features of this thing. So yeah, let's get started. So in order to download the app, you can scan this QR code or the one given over here. Here. So let me just scan this and download the app. Okay, so the app name is Smart Player and you can download it for Android on Google Play and iOS App Store. So I've downloaded the app, so I'm just open it. So after you install the app, it's going to ask you to enter your email address and a verification code sent to it. And after that, you'll get a screen something like this. So you'll have to select physical timer because we have the timer over here. And then we are going to click to connect timer, turn on our timer over here. And we've got our timer, bind and connect. Yeah, so now let's keep our phone over here and test it out. It works. It's, uh, it's, uh, there's not uh, much lag also between these two, so it's pretty uh, synchronized. So we've got some settings inside the timer itself. One uh, about the number of solves done, and one setting about the average of five, and one uh, statistic about average of 12. And we can reset the timer using this, and uh, we can start and stop the timer using this. So this was the Qi Smart Timer and it's pretty convenient, especially if you are someone who uses a smartphone as a timer for speed cubing. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that there is a data cable that you can use to connect to a display. Overall, this uh, timer is really cheap for its price and I absolutely love it. So I would totally recommend buying this if you want a cube timer to record your solves with. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you want more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel with notifications on to get updated for future videos. Thanks for watching and happy Q.